to come up to Lincoln spontaneously for the day because I keep having <laughs> I keep having dreams that someone's broken into our house here so um, we're just coming to check that it's alright. Um, we're starting to feel a bit nervous. I don't really know why. I'm really hungry out of nowhere. Yeah I'm hungry. I only had like cereal this morning. I'm starving. Yeah I had some shit like yogurt. My skin looks well red. I'm buzzing. Yeah it does. I was just gonna say that. Mine really good glowy. for a while, then I came on my period and it just fucked, so. I think it's because I stopped like wearing makeup or, or when I was away. I it just like cleaned, it well. cleaned out my skin. Um, but yeah, we're just in Lincoln. We've literally just arrived to see weird. the cathedral it's in the distance. Me out. Yeah, we we were saying how weird it is that we just like live here, but we also don't. Like we're just paying my whole life away here, but I don't even live here. It's kind of a piss take. Kind of hate it. <laughs> yeah, why am I paying five hundred pounds a month to not live here? But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, today's all about positivity. My mum was so shocked that I was paying rent. I was what? Like, I was like, what do you expect? Like, <laughs> what? They rip students off. Yeah. We're really nearly there! Yeah, we just about to put on the high I street. I nearly said the name of the street. <laughs> yeah, we're just sort of planning on going into town, probably having a look around. Might have a look for sitsy outfits. That's a good shout, we can go to Primark. Yeah. Um, me and Megan are going to summer in the city at the end of this week. I didn't forget it. It's so exciting. We're going to go to London on Thursday after my, my orthodontist appointment. I've ordered a new camera because my current one is fucked. I think it'll be here in time. Yeah, it's, it's coming tomorrow. Ah! It's literally one day. Oh my so I was God, like, And I ordered a Gorilla Pod as well. Well, oh, baby. A Manfrotto Pod, which is like better. <laughs> it's going to be so nice. No, like, I'm freaking out about this. Oh, this. Oh, pasta guy. Yeah. Oh my God, baby. Exciting. Oh my God, we're pulling down our street. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, this car's gonna reverse into that space. I can't believe Blinking Gorgeous is That's fucking there. ballsy, look at that. I could never. That's what I need to start doing, just doing it. Like, yeah. just, instead of being scared to do everything. <laughs> oh, she thanked us. That's so cute Maybe for stopping, but we had no, no choice. No problem, <laughs> Um, yeah, we're worried that we're gonna have like piles of shit. Like the postman just leaves my shit out on the front door, so like outside the front door, him. and it rots. Like in the in the damp, it rots. So I can't oh. wait if that's happened. What if we've got stuff in like the next door neighbor's house? My hair's gone really on. blonde. I think it might be the sun. Oh, I've like got new glasses really by the way, guys. Oh yeah, it's really <laughs> lovely. What, are they just like Specsavers brand? That's mm -hmm. like they were like in the sale and I was like, oh yeah. yeah. I just got these because I didn't want to pay for it. I need to get these claws sorted out. Yeah. This is oh, really man. weird. This is really so weird. weird. Oh my god, it's giving me weird flashback. It's like I used to live here. Yeah, I know. But I still do. I feel like I've graduated. <laughs> oh my god, I think we're we're so extra. Park because it's Saturday. Oh no, I know, it's, it's Monday. Monday. Yeah, I was going to say, what? I was thinking, we, oh, we're going to be able to park. Oh, there's one there, but I can't get in that. <laughs> Worst comes, oh yeah, and can't right, do it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Should we just go here? Yeah. I'm really excited. I'll go on see. the curb or next to it. <laughs> that was really impressive. <laughs> one. <laughs> well excited yeah, to go in. We said we're going to laugh at all the stuff we decided to leave. So it seems to be a bit overgrown here, but um, just as we expected, a rotting glossy box. Thank you so much. Uh, it's got like worms under it, it's stuck to it. That's vile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, there's nothing on it. Oh, no, my keys are in my hair. <laughs> um, and the second thing we expected was this. <laughs> Loads of fucking shitty leaflets. Mail. And mail from previous students. Stupid take. <laughs> right, so we've just looked through the mail and me and Hat apparently owe the NHS loads of money, which is loads of bullshit because we had our HC2 certificates, it's just some messed up system um, and they haven't like acknowledged that we have two addresses which is triggering and then we've also just got um, threatened with a uh, thing from the Lincoln City Council about our bins no we just left our bins on the road just so then they could collect them before we left yeah and 
Apparently there's a potential £75 penalty charge, which I'm definitely not paying because my bins were just left outside my house. <laughs> Stupid. And then I've just opened my grotty box. <laughs> my, <laughs> yeah, my grotty glossy box. And this is what's in it. <laughs> yeah, I got this glossy box that had come a couple of months ago, clearly, because it was fucking rotting outside. And it's like a hair emergency, like lip, it's like a collaboration with Living Proof. So I've got a restore mask treatment, a restore repair leave-in conditioner, a multitasking styling cream, and then a little shampoo and conditioner, which I'm excited to oh try. God, we always get showered up by the council. We do, we get so many letters from the council. <laughs> oh, no, there's no date to say when this, <laughs> there's no date to say when this, was sent so like but we, i suppose if we say we left them out because we yeah and you never told us that was an issue <laughs> yeah so many fines so i've just had a bit of a declutter up here um also accidentally ripped my blind off which is not ideal <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna have to get my dad to sort that when he comes, but I've just packaged loads of shit up to sell So if anyone's interested, I'm gonna leave my depop down below. Do, are you putting anything on depop? No, I've got a couple here. No, but me just go on Megan's depop as well and buy stuff. Yeah. I've taken a bit off my wall as well and I'm definitely gonna have like a little revamp in here. Me and Meg said we wanted to like completely change our rooms for our last year. Um, so that's what's gonna happen when we come back. I've just got loads of rubbish on the floor as well, which is grim now we're just going to go to the post office and go into town <laughs> and get a wagamama's oh are we getting sides as well to share oh hell yeah i can't afford it but hell yeah <laughs> right we just went and picked up something from the post office which we're going to show you later but we are on the bray foot the window's open <laughs> oh, so embarrassing. i'm gonna fucking stall on this hill Oh my god, babe, what oh god, was that? Babe. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go for a waggers because we're starving. Yeah, I'm just so hungry. And I've, I've been craving that so much. I really hate driving for weeks. Lincoln, it's scary. It's horrible, yeah. And I'm constantly having we need to go, the whole time. So. We need to go to scene, that is something. Yes, that I, I want to do that at Freshers because it's open till like four, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the only club that like stays, uh, it's down, no, yeah, it's down this bit. Yeah. Lucy Tower Street, yeah. Yeah, we really want to go to the um, gay club. Um, and freshers. Apparently, it's like the best night. Yeah, Everyone always says it's like the best thing. night out. I don't know how we haven't yet. The oh bloody! I hate multi stories. I just remember. from town and everything we've just been chilling on meg's bed for a while just um planning our summer in the city outfits for this weekend um but yeah we went and saw carrie in town which was nice we were, had a little bit of a shopping like just well we didn't really buy anything but um we just had a look in top shop and bits and pieces just trying stuff on we're just about to head home i think i've just about to take all of these bags downstairs because i'm selling a lot of stuff because i just thought if i've got clothes here i'm clearly not wearing them so i might as well sell them and get rid of them so i have a lot more room i'm gonna properly declutter everything when i get back we've had such a lovely day and it's gonna be so sad leaving again i absolutely love it in lincoln and i don't want to go So it is Tuesday morning and um, I ended up just falling asleep in editing last night so sorry about that but I've just had the most exciting delivery. I finally feel like a real YouTuber because I've got the Canon G7X Mark II which is um, the camera that everyone seems to use uh, on YouTube and I'm finally buzzing because I have a flip up screen rather than flip down so literally loving my life and then i bought a manfrotto gorilla pod well like their version of a gorilla pod and i'm absolutely buzzing about it because these are so sturdy and i just i just can't wait to get it on so in three two one the quality will improve whoa i'm so buzzing like i'm just so happy to have a camera that is not so zoomed into my face that 
actually works and is functioning. I'm just buzzing. Um, hopefully you can see the quality difference because I definitely can instantly. I've been just a bit, feeling a bit like low using my phone, which I know is not like the biggest problem in the world, but I just always think that people are getting put off my videos because the quality is so shit. However, I'm buzzing. This camera is so lightweight. Like it feels like I'm not holding anything, which is kind of weird. Um, I've also got my man for a Frotto tripod that I'm just about to attach. This is so sick. I'm so happy I invested in one of these. And fingers crossed my content will just get better from here. I think I'm going to actually film some main channel videos today because I haven't done that in ages. And I feel so bad. But the reason I haven't is because I've been away. I've been super busy. And mainly the fact that I don't have a camera and I don't want to film a main channel video on my phone. So um, hopefully I'll be able to film like two or three videos today and get one up tonight so that that channel actually stays active. <laughs> Loving my life right now. So I've just been like editing and filming and getting back into my old routine. I'm actually working tomorrow, which I'm dreading because I've got a 12-hour shift, which is long. But I'm just, I'm just happy to have, I've just been like really grateful to have like a couple of chill days. Like going back to Lincoln, spending time with Meg, walking the dogs, just being with my family and stuff. Because I have some really busy weeks ahead before my 21st birthday so I wasn't really going to have any other time to chill like tomorrow I'm working all day and then I'm up, up in London for summer in the city then I'm in Turkey for a week then I'm going to London for mine and my brother's like joint birthday um, surprise-y trip thing in London with my mum and dad. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a very fun-filled few weeks, so I'll definitely be vlogging the whole thing. I hope you've been enjoying the travel vlogs. There are going to be so many more to come. I can't wait for Summer in the City. I hope I meet some of you guys there. A few of you have messaged saying you're going, and I met a couple of people last year, but since then I've grown quite a bit, so fingers crossed I get to jump into bump into a few more of you i'm gonna meet so many of my like youtube friends that i haven't met in real life yet because we're all dotted over the country um hopefully i'll be able to see like caitlin i'll be able to chat to alice again obviously like i haven't seen her in a couple months now she'll be there i'll get to meet jess from my management i hopefully chat to eleanor i'm just buzzing i just can't wait to see everyone and get socializing it's such a draining weekend because you're surrounded by a lot of people and i don't know whenever i've been before i always feel so drained after the whole weekend because you're like talking and socializing and smiling like constantly i just always feel so drained i don't know if that's me being like a my little introverted side comes out after those sort of weekends but i don't know i'm just excited but i know i'm gonna be so exhausted and then i'm literally gonna have to get packing and stuff for turkey so yeah and Thank you very much for sticking around. Hopefully you didn't find this too boring. Oh, I'm gonna quickly show you this before I go. One second. <laughs> the angels at Pixie set, had sent over this to my uni address, because I think they've got my uni address set as my like permanent one. They have sent me over their new vitamin C skincare range, and I'm buzzing because it says five power pack skin treats for da your daily dose of brightening. And my skin is dull as fuck, so I was like, this is the perfect range for me. So we have, oh, it's the, the the um pot smells amazing and i'm obviously going to use this to uh, uh store some of my bits and pieces in the future so i've got the vitamin c lotion which is a brightening moisturizer i've got this gorgeous vitamin c juice cleanser with orange flower water which sounds heavenly i'm literally going to use these in a second to take off my makeup then we've got a vitamin C caviar balm, which is a brightening leave-on mask. And I thought this was interesting because I've never heard of leave-on masks before. So I'll let you guys know how I get on with these products. I've also got a um, vitamin C tonic. And I literally live by the Glow Tonic, so I'm very excited to try that one. And then finally, I've got the Vitamin C Serum. I also love the Glow Tonic Serum. I also love the Glow Serum that Pixie do. So fingers crossed that's also just as good. So yeah, I'm just going to try these. Um, but for now, I'm going to take off my makeup and go to bed and prepare for tomorrow's long day of work. Next time I see you, I'll be heading to London for Summer in the City with Meg. I am so, so excited. Make sure you're following me on Instagram to see our adventures as it happens. And I'll try my best to get the vlogs up every single day afterwards so yeah love you all see you soon bye